What's up guys, this is Mad Summer 84 uh, here for my last game of June with our Games of Gold. Um, for this game we've got, so I'm just going to say Cinemora. Not sure how it's pronounced, but I'm going to say Cinemora. Now, I've actually played this game beforehand. Uh, I played it on the Vita when it, it came out with uh, as part of PS Plus years ago. So I played it on the Vita, uh, and I remember enjoying it. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, but this originally came out on, uh, on the Xbox, I can see, uh, in March 2012. Uh, but now it's June 2020 and we've been given this game so you know I remember it being all right game but let's jump in have a little go uh, see what it's like and then make up our mind so let's play story uh, I'm gonna start a new chat start a new game because uh, I started playing it and I realized I hadn't pressed record like a dick so I've been talking to a mic that wasn't recording at all so oh well I have to start again so let's start new boom we'll do normal because I am not great at these games but you know I don't mind kind of giving them a go they, they can be a bit hardcore they can be a bit hardcore as you can see it's quite nice if you press the LB button you can speed up these little uh, cutscenes which is nice Really, or if you press, you know, oh wait, oh, I thought you could skip them. Oh, maybe you can't then. God damn it, you just got a, that's a bit annoying, you should be able to skip them. So, this is just part of this is literally just uh, a bit of training, to be honest. This is just a training mission. So, this is the first stage. And you can see it actually looks pretty nice. It doesn't look that bad. I think it looks quite nice, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's eight years old. It's a nice kind of for uh, you know shoot 'em up. It's a nice one. Um, you know, it does get a bit bit of hell. I'm not sure if it's like. Some of it, because I know there's some like bullet hell games which are just mental. They're so crazy. I, I know I, when I see the people kind of dodging in and out of the bullets, I am actually kind of a bit in awe because I'm like, oh wow, that's 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 bloody crazy. That is literally crazy. Um, because no way in hell. Would I be able to do that? So, mm. but anyway, I don't mind giving it a go. Uh, just you know, give me a, 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 a an easy mode where I can kind of play it. You know, it has a bit of challenge, but it has, there's a little bit of bit of easiness to it as well, or forgiveness. So let's go for novice pilots because that is what I am. Um. So I don't know what, I'm not sure what language they're speaking in this. Um, it would be interesting to know. Uh, at a first glance, I can't really see what it is on the wiki page. I might be, because I'm not properly looking at it, so I must be just glaring over it. Boom. There you go. You can slow down time to... Uh, Get away from people's bullets. Just go around them, I say. Some people just go through them. Literally, they just, they go, they do all that jazz. Oh, lost five seconds, dumbass. Um, but you know what? If you didn't know, this was done by a grasshopper manufacturer. The people who did like the No More Heroes games and. The chainsaw, lollipop, and some other uh, stuff like Killer Seven. I didn't mind actually Killer Seven. That's quite good, uh, and a few other stuff. Um, so they actually did this. Never knew that. Yeah, firepower boom, uh, and hopefully, that, and they're working on a new No More Heroes game. 
which I think is just going to be on the switch, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, but as you can see, I'll, you know what, the plane designs are pretty cool. Yeah, the plane designs are very good. I'll just This is just chapter one now. I do quite like the look, uh, the design of the kind of characters they've got in the in the dialogue boxes. They're quite cool. It sounds like some Eastern block language. I might be wrong. Oh god, I so suck at these games, but I don't mind giving them a go. Boom. God, I'm going to be badass at this game. No, I was never badass when I originally played it on the... Oh, I missed it like a fool. Yeah, I wasn't badass on the on the Vita. Which, in my eyes, I think that's a thoroughly a very uh, underrated console. So good. Some of the games on there. A lot of tat, but a lot of really good stuff. Boom. It's nice that you can just speed up through this so you can get to where you want and you just don't have to sit through it. Oh yeah. Oh piss off Sanji. Oh my god I'm losing it. Oh. We've got to get rid of that one quickly I'm telling you now. There we go, got rid of that. Jesus Christ. There we go, boom, suck it. Oh, get out of here. You might have heard a big beep, and that's a car. Somewhere outside, beeping like a dickhead. So I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. It, you know, and it, it controls very well. It's very kind of quite simple in a way with its controls. You've just got to be really good at getting in and out of the bullets. Boom. Now let's just fold this up. Oh. We got this guy again. He doesn't know when to stop. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Oh, I felt like I got through it this time much easier. But it's because I took out that guy. Oh, you son of a bitch. We'll just speed up that stage two. All right, see if I can get through this a bit quicker than last time. Yeah, the presentation is very nice. Oh, I'll see that. I like that character. What was it say? Ron to something. Oh, God. Screw this section. Screw it in the butt. Get the fudge out of here. Yes, I think I managed to keep all my, my upgrades. Boom. Give me the money, money, money. Boom. 
But yeah, I feel like this is one that is like a. Uh, this one's actually a quite. Ex I find it quite accessible on the shooter front. You know, I may be wrong. I don't know. There might be more accessible ones. I give it a go. Get that. I'm not sure if there is, but yeah, this one I find is quite accessible for me personally. You know, but it is bloody challenging in some points for me. I don't know about you, you crazy bullet hell shooter lovers. And sometimes it's, it's all about just holding down the fire button, I find for me. Here we go. Got a trophy. I don't know what it was for. Get out of it, open up for me. God, even now I felt I felt like amazing that I did that. Even though that was probably very simple, uh, it is actually quite nice being able to speed up these look, those little cutscenes. Shit! There we go. Boom. Oh, fuck. Lost a bit of my power there. All right, we'll speed that up. Come on. Here we go. Feel like amazing at this game, but I have literally just played through this before I realized that I made a massive cock up. Oh. Yeah, but you know what I feel like it's missing is like a an actual bit of a proper like decent soundtrack. I feel like it's it is lacking in that department. Big time. Boom, 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 boom. Shake the room. There we go. Have that sausage in your gob. And um, yeah, I think that's I think that's stage one done now. So I think we should jump out and have a little go of some of the elmos, see what they look like, uh, how they play, and we can then go from there. So let's do that, I think. We'll just watch the end of this. Well, you know what, we'll speed up, because that's what we can do. You know, you've got all these bits of the story, but we'll skip that, because we don't need to. What did I get? What was my grade? E. Shocking, but I'm not sure if I was expecting anything more. Anyway, next mode we go. Uh, so now we've done that, let's just jump into arcade, check it out quickly, and see what it's like. Uh, let's be, I'm gonna be the red ship. All right, uh, is that gonna be him? Let's speed up. Haven't got a clue what this is all about. Haven't got a clue. I guess I have to do hard. I guess I do. So with arcade, um, literally you just 
play the kind of story in a way without any of the uh, without any of the dialogue really. That's all you guys, and you got just go go through go through all the stages and try get as high score as you can as with a you know, normal arcade game. Um, you get three lives. You do, and. Uh, And it's 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 not that easy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna make it, but I, I, I'm always willing to give it a go. I will give it a go. You know, it's just three lives. Um, yeah, you know what? The, you know, what the big disappointment about this game is it's, it's definitely it's definitely the the. Uh, the soundtrack. I don't. I feel, I feel like I don't know, it could have been. Could have been something a bit more. Oh, I got here already. Boom. Uh, yeah, it feel like I don't know. Could have been more fun. Let's put it that way. Let's skip that. And go straight to him. Ah, oh, Jesus! I died. I died. Anyway, that's. That's arcade. Let's check out the next mode. Score attack. Uh, now you can. This is when you can just select a stage that you've unlocked. So I'm going to choose stage two because we haven't seen it yet. Uh, let's go with this one. That looks pretty cool. I have to go with the same pilot, of course. And the easiest difficulty is hard. Uh, I do like the look of this level. It looks nice, nice and colourful, nice and bright. It looks looks like somewhere I would like to go on holiday just without the gunfire. Yeah, it, that's 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 the one of the big things that it's it's lacking in this game is. Good music. That's what I would like. I would like to see good music, uh, which is annoying. So with with the score attack, you only get one life, which which I've uh, used up quite quickly. Uh, yeah, you only get one life. Just like in just general life, to be honest, not like arcade, you get multiple lives. Um, oh. But it's just probably with some of these things they they kind of blend in with the rocks. They really do blend in with the rocks. Um, but yeah, I really like the look at this level. You know, I like the look at the the enemies and the, your your ship. All that stuff. Get out of my air. This is mine. This is my manor. Shit. Oh. God. I know I'm going to die any second now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then the next mode is boss training. Well, I'm assuming we kind of. I think it's quite simple that one. We'll be fine against the, the bosses of the of the levels we've unlocked. Um, saying that, will it allow me to fight the? Oh, shit! I that was before I was rudely interrupted. Uh, I thought I was going to beat him. But he won't let me try and play against him but anyway. We're going to Collarbock. Uh, but that's quite good. You just, it is, you only get one life. So you've got to be careful. Alright, we've got three ships. So I've been two. So let's beat this one. Um, well, we're going to do this one. Reflection activates. Yeah, boom. Ah, oh, yes, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to put up my primary level weapon level all the way up to the max. 
Oh, I can do normal. That's quite good. That's quite good. So all the modes pretty fairly simple. Well, they're not simple. They're friggin' hard. They're really hard. Ah oh, no, I'm losing all my goddamn. Ah, oh, I died already. I died already. Um, that sucks big time. Oof. Oh, God, it's really something. I'm trying to keep all my weapons. Fuck off. Jesus. Oh. 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 Thank God I got them all back. Um, definitely. Definitely crazy. Especially if you, if you didn't have the whole slow down time. The whole bullet time thing. God, it'd be crazy. But this is a little bit annoying because you're supposed to be doing a boss battle and it kind of like, oh yeah, he's done that. Now you have to do the part of the level you do to to get back to the next section, the second part of the boss battle. So can't you just chuck me in there? Because that's what I've asked. I've asked to do boss battles, not a boss battle and part of a level. Here we go, see if I can take out this son of a gun. Um, but yeah. I kind of, I, you know, I played this on the video as I stated. You know what? A still very enjoyable game, I personally think. See, I'm just smashing him. I'm smashing him. You've got nothing on me, mate. You've got nothing. Oh, okay. Instead of having the whole speed up time my, when I press the special I didn't really pay attention I reflect okay so that's all that all right gotcha I wonder what uh, grade they're gonna give me in this oh god hey get in there thank you very much well now I've done all that we should just really talk about it sign sini 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 suni mora you know what? A very good game. Well, I wouldn't say a very good game. A good game. Very enjoyable. It is enjoyable. Um, presentation is nice. It controls very well. Um, the only thing for me personally that it doesn't really have much of a, a good soundtrack. Nothing really much. Yeah, you would prefer something that's a bit cool. Kind of really gets you in the gameplay uh, and flying around. Mode wise, it's fairly simple. You've got your story arcade where you basically is the story without the dialogue and you just go through the levels you've got three lives don't know if you can get more lives that's not doing score attack play each stage try to get the highest score boss training you just play defeat the bosses you've defeated from the story and <clears throat> it is a good game not a great game uh, it is an eight-year-old game an xbox live arcade game but it's definitely it's, it's worth a play, especially if you're into the shooters, and the bullet hell games. It's definitely worth playing. If if you don't really like those games, then you you may not get that much of enjoyment there. But I would say give it a go, give it a try. You might be able to get some sort of enjoyment out of it. Just give it a try. It is half decent. And it's well presented. Um, yeah, there's not really much else you can really say about this game. It is good but it's not great but I think it is worth a solid one what? thumb up because it is a nice a nice game to get it's an easy game you can jump in and jump out you know and when you look at it, it's like scores you got equals getting you got nines out of tens you got some seven out of tens you know Metacritic it says 85 out of a hundred so it got fairly good reviews and you can see why it got good reviews um so definitely add it into your library just give it a go you might like it i'm giving it a sort of thumbs up 
that's me for June. Uh, so got another like two weeks, under two weeks until July. I don't know what's coming up. I don't think they've made an announcement yet. So it'll be interesting. So until then, take care, guys. Look after yourselves and don't be addicted, people. Bye.